I'm Aida to Musliman, and I'm K, Palestinian woman, a feminist, um, mother of two daughters, and a grandmother of two wonderful twins. What's the story? The story is uh, all about an apartheid regime. Yes, an apartheid regime in the um, a country or state that is known as the only democracy in the Middle East. There are half a million Israeli settlers sitting on Palestinian territory in the occupied territories, and there are more than three million Palestinians, at least in the West Bank. But the two different groups of people are living under the authority of Israel, obeying two different legal systems. If this is not apartheid, then what is apartheid? Every policy that is developed by the Israeli occupation in the West Bank or on Gaza, you take into consideration giving superiority for the settlers. The new thing that we are trying to explain here is that these practices and policies and laws are also uh, uh, evolving and existing inside Israel when we are talking about us, the Palestinian citizens of Israel. The definition of apartheid is having two groups of uh, uh, people or two ethnicities, two nationalities uh, under uh, uh, the jurisdiction of one state and still do not have equal rights or go by different laws. Uh, the law of citizenship that just passed in the Knesset. This law says very clearly that uh, um, people who are married to Palestinians from the West Bank and Gaza, or any Palestinian, whoever, or Jordanian, Iraqi, and uh, uh, Lebanese, Syrian, which are defined as enemy countries. Um, if I'm a citizen and I'm married to uh, someone uh, like this, I'm not able to, first of all, uh, he will never get residency in Israel, and, and uh, second, uh, he will not even dream about getting citizenship in Israel. We are not equal in that situation to the um, Jewish citizens who are allowed to give their citizenship to their spouses. This is a law that is discriminating against me and my uh, people, uh, although we are citizens. Another law that is um, that established, in my opinion, uh, 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 the basics for an apartheid regime is the Jewish nation state law. The Jewish nation state law says very clearly or define whose this state is. We are not mentioned, we are the absentees in that law. They forgot that they have 20% of the citizens of Israel are Palestinians. So when you go and check what, what it says, who are the citizens of uh, this uh, state or this state belong to whom? It belongs to the Jewish people. We are denied, denied uh, uh, this equal access to citizenship. I know it sounds very um, uh, strange and awkward that an MK, um, a member of Knesset who was elected, who uh, not only votes for the Knesset, but also representing um, my own people in, uh, and other democratic forces in the Knesset is saying this. Apartheid is much deeper than uh, giving you the opportunity in the election day to go to the ballots and, and to vote. When you are denied the right of ownership over the state and being an equal partner of deciding the identity, the uh, regime, the way and the policies this uh, uh, state is going by, then you are not an equal citizen. Yes, I am. I know. I'm uh, aware that even if I am a member of the Knesset, I'm denied the right to be an equal citizen. I'm fighting this approach. I'm going to the Knesset in order to change the situation. Some people think that 
uh, having some Arabs in the governments these days is giving the right to influence. I don't think so, because these practices of apartheid has developed in order to keep supremacy of the Jewish people in this country. Without changing this situation, without stopping the occupation, without changing the definition of the state of Israel, giving the opportunity to all the citizens of the state to be uh, a citizen, equal citizens and to have the ownership of the state and making this state for the whole of its citizens, we will continue to live in this situation. Okay, I managed to legislate some laws. I managed to put pressure on government to change things relating to women's rights, to relating to health issues, relating to uh, employment, etc. I don't want to struggle to change things. I want to decide things. I want to be able to influence the decisions ahead and not only to fight the uh, implications of these policies.